what a loving child, she's my heart's delight. She can make a cloudy day seem sunny and bright. This cape I made for her, it started from the heart. It's made with love, made with care. So with themes of sunshine, just for More often than not, those who have grown old long for the days of their youth, while the young ones can't wait to grow old. But once in a great while, the longings of these two generations come together in a way we never really understand. Such is the bond between Little Red Riding Hood and her grandmother. Great, Mom. Almost done. You know, if you eat all the frosting, there won't be any left for Grandma. Grandma won't mind. Besides, this is extra. You can leave just as soon as this soup cools down. Is Grandma going to be all right? I don't like it when she's sick. She's going to be just fine. In fact, when you get there with this basket of goodies, I bet she gets better right then and there. Now, don't run. I don't want any accidents. I'll be careful. And go straight to Grandma's. No stopping at your friends to play. I won't. I promise. And don't talk to strangers! Okay, Mom. Don't worry. Bye! I'm your mother. It's my job to worry. Simply beautiful day. Mmm, and it smells good too. <laughs> Are you okay? I'm sorry if I bothered you. I'm just so sad. It was my mother's birthday yesterday, and I forgot all about it. <laughs> oh, don't cry. I'm sure she'll understand. But I just feel awful, and I don't know how to make it up to her. Well, I'm sure we can think of something. Let's see. I know. You do? Sure. Does your mom like flowers? Uh-huh. So, let's make your mom a bouquet. Gosh, that's a good idea. Flowers are like miracles. Whenever my dad brings them home for my mom, it makes her smile. Right, just like that. I'm on my way.
away to my grandma's. She's not feeling very well. Your grandma's? What's that? <laughs> a grandma's a who, not a what. Huh? Grandmas are sort of like extra moms, only they let you do more stuff. I'll ask my mom if I have one. They sound like fun. Here you go. Your mom will love this present because you made it. She won't even notice that it's late. Thanks so much for everything. Hopefully someday I'll be able to help you. Bye-bye, and wish your mom a happy birthday for me. Oh, 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 oh. Oh my! It's about time somebody heard me! Is everything all right? No, yes. Well, my wing does hurt a little. What happened? I'd rather not talk about it, thank you. You can tell me. I'm just a kid, too. I crashed. What? I was trying to fly and I crashed. There, you happy? I remember when I was learning to ride my bike. I crashed too. It happens to everyone. Yeah, but it's not the same. I'm supposed to be able to fly. I'm a bird. Let me see your wing. Are you a doctor? I'm just going to put some jam on it. Jam? Take my word for it. It's better than iodine. Come on, it won't hurt. Feel better? Uh-huh. Oh. Mm. Raspberry! Oh, it's good! See if you can flap it. Great! Hey, that stuff really works! Can I have some more? Sorry, the rest is for my grandma. Oh. Don't you think you better fly back home? Your parents must be worried about you. Uh, I can't. Of course you can. I said I can't, and I can't. But your wing's fine. It's not your wing at all, is it? It's your head. You're afraid. So? So, when we're afraid of something, we have to learn not to be afraid of it. Hey, where are you taking me? Be careful. Put me down. What are you doing? Whoa. Now fly. But I, I, I... What if... Come on, I'll catch you if something goes wrong, which it won't. Forget it! Fine, stay there then. See if I care. Wait! Okay, I'll try it. But you better be ready to catch me. Okay, I'll count to three. One, two, three! Take off! Little Red Riding Hood. Well, that's a long name. They just call me Thrush. That sure was a pretty song you were whistling, Thrush. Ah, well, my whole family are famous songbirds. <whistles> wow! 
wish I could whistle like that. It's easy. I'll teach you. Just put your lips together and blow. <sighs> Nothing happened. You need to pucker up more. Like this. Like this? Now, blow! You got it! If you're all alone and want some company It's a fact that you can always count on me In the blinking of an eye I'll be by your side Just whistle and I'll be there Most apology, young lady. I didn't mean to frighten you. Well, you did. You can't just step out in front of somebody like that. Better than sneaking up from behind, don't you think? <laughs> Who are you? Just a local woodsman, here to warn you. Warn me? There's a wolf roaming these woods, and you can't be too careful. <gasps> a wolf? Gosh, thanks for telling me. I'll keep my eyes open. Bye. <laughs> you again? You didn't tell me where you're going. Or what's in your basket. Didn't your mother ever tell you not to pry? Sorry. My, 
What a hairy finger you have. Uh, hairy fingers uh, run in the family. <laughs> well, next time, if you want something, ask nicely. Well, I gotta be going, or I'll be late for Grandma's. And don't sneak up on me again. Grandma. Mmm, sounds tasty. I must find out more. On the way to her grandmother's, Red Riding Hood got thirsty and stopped by a nearby stream for a drink. Unaware that she was being watched by the treacherous wolf. What a tender little tidbit she will be. <laughs> Who's there? It's not that wolf. <laughs> I'm starving. I think I might just need a little morsel to tide me over until meal time. Well, you weren't there when I started cutting. Uh, besides, I yelled timber. Well, thank you for the warning, but next time, be more careful. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Look, look, I was in a hurry, okay? They were trying to get our lodge built before winter, and we got a little late start. Maybe I could help you. What do you know about building a lodge? Well, nothing, really. But you could teach me. Look, I don't have time to teach you, okay? I'm rushing as it is. Can't you see that, huh? Yes, but... Well, you know the saying, busy as a beaver. Busy, busy, busy. Ha, ha, ha. Well, that's me. I'm busy. But someone as big as I am could make things go that much faster. Don't you have something to do? Don't you have to be somewhere? Well, I have to be at my grandma's, but she says it's important to help others whenever you can. And she loves animals. No! <laughs> I'm really very good with my hands. Oh, okay. When do we start? Hmm. I might just have a little beaver pate for an appetizer.
happy little cloak you got there. My grandma made it for me. <gasps> Which reminds me, if I don't get going, I'll never get there. Well, thanks for the hand, okay? I don't have time for a long goodbye, so I'll just say ta-ta. <laughs> See you again sometime. I was looking for something to eat in the tree. Oh, well, let me help you up. Do you really think it's safe for you to be climbing trees? When you're hungry, dearie, you gotta find food where you can find it. Trees seemed like the right place. I can give you a piece of cake if you'd like. Oh, just a smidgen would be nice. What's your name? They call me Little Red Riding Hood. I can't give it all to you. It's for my sick grandma. I love grandmas. Hope you enjoy it. I baked it myself. I'm sure I will. It's not good to eat so fast, you know. Fast or slow don't much matter when you got nothing to put in there. Tell me more about your sweet old grandma. Oh, grandma's just the best grandma you could... Yes? Actually, I shouldn't be talking to you. My mother warned me not to talk to strangers. And she's absolutely right, dearie. Only, we're not strangers anymore. We're friends. We even had a piece of cake together, didn't we? Well, that's true. Now tell me. Where does Grandma live? Um, at the end of this road, just before you get to town. A cute yellow house under three big hazelnut trees. That's it! What? Um, the town I was looking for. I'm not lost anymore. And all thanks to you, dearie. So long! Wait! What? I just wanted to warn you that there's a wolf around here, so be careful. I'll keep my eyes peeled. <laughs> he runs pretty fast for an old man.
nice house you have, Grandma. <laughs> Maybe Grandma will make some hazelnut pudding. Come on, come on, come on! What is that girl doing out there? I brought you some things to make you feel better. May I come in? I'm much too weak to open the door, dear. Just lift the latch and come on down. <laughs> okay. Afternoon, Grandma. Afternoon, dear. Sorry I'm late. No, no, no! Don't kiss me! I... I... wouldn't want you to catch anything. You don't seem to have any temperature, but your hair's gotten a lot longer since I saw you last. I, I know. I haven't gotten out to the beauty parlor in a while. Do me a favor, dear, and make me some tea. I'll make some for myself, too. Honey? Yes, dear? <laughs> what I meant was, do you want some honey in your tea? Of course, dear. It wouldn't be the same without it. I brought you some of Mom's famous mushroom barley soup. And some of my almost famous chocolate cake. Although it's missing a piece I gave to a hungry person on the way over here. How thoughtful of you, dear. And last but not least, some fresh bread and homemade raspberry jam. I'm sorry it's not a full jar. I had to use a little of it to heal an injured bird's wing. My, oh my, weren't you the busy one this morning. I'll put the bread and jam in the pantry for you. No! Grandma? My, what long arms you have. Better to hug you with, my dear. Here, let me take those. I mean, I just don't want you doing all the work. Would you like some cake? 
Only if you'll have some with me. I've been waiting all day. <laughs> what big eyes you have, Grandma. Better to see your pretty face with my dear. And what a long tongue you have. I know. It makes succulent things more succulent. And your mouth, it's so large. Better to eat you with, my dear. You're the wolf! Yeah. What have you done with my grandmother? She's dessert. Your lunch! <laughs> See nothing yet. and you'll be just right. Little Red, your cloak is cooked. Can't 
Get me now. They haven't seen the last of me yet. Thanks, Thrush. You saved my life. Well, at least you won't have to worry about that wolf anymore. He'll never come back. I'm sure gonna miss you. Oh, don't get all weepy. We'll see each other again. I hope so. Hey, next time I see you, I'll be a grown-up. If you ask me, you're already a grown-up. Thanks to you. So long, little Red Riding Hood. <laughs> So long, Thrush! Dear, thank you. A little frazzled, but fine. There's nothing to be afraid of about now, Grandma. The wolf is gone. What a relief. But I just don't understand. How did that nasty old wolf know you were coming here? Well, to tell you the truth, I told him. You told him? He fooled me. He pretended to be someone he wasn't. Wolves do that, dear. You must be more careful. Mom told me not to talk to strangers, and look what happened because I did. Those are only things, dear. They can be replaced. But we can't be, and we're just fine. Now, stop fretting and give Grandma a big smile. I'll never talk to strangers again, I promise. Settled then. Have a muffin, dear. I baked them especially for you. I love you, Grandma. Red and her grandmother had a wonderful visit together. A visit made even more special because of the good that came from it. Not only did Red discover the joy which comes from helping others, she was also taught some very valuable lessons. Red learned that life is full of hidden pitfalls and that trouble can come in many different disguises. Most importantly, she learned that one must always be on the lookout for people pretending to be something they're not. Red never did forget that visit and all that it taught her. From that day forward, she went through life a little bit warier and quite a bit wiser.
What a loving child, she's my heart's delight. She can make a cloudy day seem sunny and bright. This cape I made for her, it started from the heart. It's made with love, made with care. So with beams of sunshine, just for Shine just 